anybody on lights. That's amazing. Give it a shake. <laughs> what, about, what about the theater mode? That's awesome. We don't have the budget for this. I don't this wanna, is sick. I don't want to look at the audience. It's okay. It's okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to prom. So. Uh, for those who aren't aware, this is an improv show. We are brain wreck. Um, everything that is about to happen has never been done before and will never be done ever again. So, uh, to introduce ourselves, let's go down the line, say our name and pronouns. Uh, my name's Milo, they, them. My name's Joe, they, them. Eric, he, him. Emma, she, they. And I'm Nikki, she, they. Woo! So, our first, uh, our first game is going to be based on uh, someone's prom story. We're going to have, uh, we're going to do a bunch of scenes and, uh, I guess we'll just get a suggestion. Someone raise your hands to tell a prom horror story, please. Oh, wait, the person in the aisle? Point, point them out. Do you see the person who just came in and sat down while raising I do. their hands? I thought that yes. was very intriguing. All right. Would you like to tell a prom horror story? Yeah. Instead of dancing with me, they weren't uh, at the time, but they carried out gambling in the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did they gamble for? Nothing. It was just chips. <laughs> what just was chips. the game that they were gambling on? I think it was like poker or something. Oh, huh. Okay. And this was just in the cafeteria during prom? The cafeteria, so our prom was in the gym. The cafeteria was like down the hall this way. And I was like, hey, there's something to slow song. Can we go dance to it? And he was like, yeah, sure, next time. And I was like, okay. And they never did another one again. <laughs> <laughs> How long were you two dating? Two years. Two years. Oh. Wow. Why was there gambling at your prom? I'm from Maryland. I don't know. Oh, that's <laughs> gotcha. So was the cafeteria like a, a game room or something? Yeah, it was an entire game room with like other games that were non-gambling. There was just a lot of tables. Awesome. <laughs> it was most of my friends. And him. <laughs> gotcha. I like nice. All right. Mm -hmm. How much money you make this time? <laughs> that's that's a lot of singles. Uh, a good like at least seven fifty. I don't know. Someone like ripped a dollar and a half and gave it to me. Seven seven hundred and fifty dollars. That's huge, Jonathan. That's massive. Wait, don't tell me you mean like seven dollars and fifty cents. Well, you see, it's all one dollar bills, you know. Well, I assume that you had you know seven hundred and fifty one dollar bills. Well, you know, that's where I thought I had two, but, um, see. <laughs> they gave me a whole briefcase full of fake bills. That is a lot of Monopoly money. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, like, worth anything? Like, could we, like, sell those for money? Like, sell the bills for bills? I mean, we could try. We could try putting it back in the stock market. What if we made our own version of Monopoly using that money? Using the Monopoly money, we make our own Monopoly with the Monopoly money that you got. <laughs> exactly. From gambling with money. Did you mean that from gambling? Technically. I'm trying to keep that on the down low. I treated this guy two sticks for a whole briefcase of Monopoly money, and now he's got a best-selling game. Dude, that's crazy. I, I don't I don't know what to do. Should I sue him? I'm a kid. I'm like 13. I don't know how to sue people. Um, I mean, being on, out in recess, like, I don't know if now is like the good time, but you could probably go home and talk to your parents about it. But like, I think you should do it personally. Just seeing as like, you know, I'm a finance minor going into a finance major. <laughs> so, you know. I think it's a good, it's a good risk reward balance, you know? Will you be my lawyer if things go wrong? Hey, I know I can trust you, Charlton. <laughs> hey, man, Jimmy, it's a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> We're being sued. We are being sued. This is not a drill. Over what? What do you mean over what? We stole this kid's money. We didn't do anything. He gave us the money. If anything, he cheated me out. We need a lawyer. We're going to need a lawyer. Do you know how to be a lawyer? Because I don't know how to be a lawyer. <laughs> are you hearing me? I am. I'm saying I don't think either of us need to be a lawyer. What are you saying? Well, you know how that game became a bestseller, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. Look at this stack right here. That is a lot of Monopoly money. That's at <laughs> least $70 worth of Monopoly money. That's insane. I could... <laughs> 
we could pay for our own lawyer. We could pay and for our own lawyer. And they wouldn't stand a chance, because they're kids just like us. That's true. They don't know what We have a problem. We have a problem. What's the problem? What's okay, the problem? come over here to the secret recess corner with me. Uh -huh, uh -huh, sit uh -huh. down, sit down. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Okay. They have an actual lawyer. <laughs> what? It's Ted's mom! <laughs> oh they hired her with the money. Oh uh, we, we got, we got real money. The, real, well, m my money. <sighs> we have, to, we have to do something about it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Because I know you're a finance minor, and that stands no chance against a finance major. I, you know, I know that. That's why I'm freaking out, Jimmy. We could, we could pretend we're from the mob and and threaten him. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> It's me, Mr. Monopoly, and I know what you did. Uh, we, 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 didn't, we didn't do nothing, sir. What's the problem? You see this top hat? No. Do you think I'd have this top hat if I wasn't Mr. Monopoly? Can I? Don't touch it. Okay. <laughs> Made out of solid gold, Monopoly money. That's what you have in the big leagues. And kid, you ain't anywhere near the big leagues. Well, of course. Who's your lawyer? Who's your lawyer? Who's your lawyer? It's my friend's mom! It's my friend's mom! Your friend's mom? Jesus! This is gonna be the easiest beatdown I've ever done on a six-year-old! I don't know what you mean by beatdown! We didn't do anything wrong! You want to say that to Mr. Monopoly? Do you know how much money I've lost because of what you did? We didn't do nothing! You stole my IP! We didn't do nothing! We, just because we call it not, but not, not Monopoly doesn't mean that you can say it's your own thing! It has Monopoly in its name. My name is Mr. Monopoly for a reason. It's mine. It's my Monopoly. The mob's after us. The mob is after us. You heard me, right? Oh. Do you know who I am? This is Mr. Monopoly. Mr. Monopoly, it's a please. <laughs> Don't you bow down Why to him. Why are you not bowing? That is, that is how you're supposed to act around Mr. Monopoly. You're the weird one here. How do you... Please don't kill oh, me. I won't kill oh. you. Oh, thank you. He's on thin ice after he stole my IP. He stole your IP? I know nothing about this. So, so what are you on about? <laughs> He's lying. You gotta trust me. It's his mom. Do you? His mom is my lawyer. Is that true? No. <laughs> it's not true. If there's anything I learned from being a famous capitalist, it's how to spot a liar. Say that again. My mom is not his lawyer. I trust you, I don't trust you. Hi, so, mom. You come back to me, huh? Yeah, mom. There's the ring. <laughs> Why do you do this every time, mom? It's a little weird. Because being both a great lawyer and the head of the mob, is a great deal of responsibility. Mom, Mom, you never told me you were the head of the mafia. This oh. is a lot of news to drop on, on My little child, old me. Haven't you ever seen the shadows move when you're not paying attention? Well, if I'm not paying attention, how can I see them move? You gotta pay more. But I don't have any money. <laughs> I guess you're out of the family, kid. <gasps> Mom, no! Please, this family is everything I've got! You've been exiled! No! From the Donatello family! <laughs> Mr. Monopoly, please, can you adopt me? song on the dance floor. Aww. Yeah, but I'm tearing up the <laughs> decorations. I love your juvenile delinquency, Brad, but I feel like you should be able to set it aside just for like three minutes and, a, and 30 seconds. Then what did I bring my lighter for? <laughs> for the fast-paced songs. It's not often that I can't help falling in love with you is going to play at a high school prom, Brad. This Julia! Is like a once, a once a year opportunity. Julia! I am from Ohio! Oh. I don't think you understand that. I don't think you can get it through your skull. I'm from Ohio! And I'm from Vermont. Why are we so different? <laughs> I'm just doing what Ohio kids do when they're at prom. Listen, I know you guys are really bored because you don't have the great outdoors to look at, but there's got to be... Don't, don't kick the balloons. They deserve it! 
from Vermont. You are born in Vermont, you are so emotional, it's, it comes with every Vermont person. Oh, you know what, maybe I can't do Ohio anymore, huh? If Ohio, if, if the Ohio, <laughs> if a bad boy from Ohio is going to disrespect me at prom, maybe I need to start talking to, to I don't know. Hey, no! Ohioans? We, I know you get me so Ohio, but still. Like, you know, like, hi, like, great, like, like, oh, like, I know you do that. But deep down, we all know that you Vermont girls just want bad boys. Yeah! Everybody knows that about Vermont girls. Oh, all right, Brad. You know why I called you to my office, don't you? Yeah, so I can spill your ink all over your desk again? <laughs> no, for God's sake, Brad. We're getting complaints from the girls' school in Vermont that you keep... <laughs> <laughs> that I keep what? Are you going to continue that sentence? Or are you just going to sit there like a loser? Mr. I'm from New York. Brad, you're making us lose ties with that all-girls school in Vermont, right? We're just an all-boys school here in Ohio. We're gonna have nothing left if we lose this. They funded this school completely. You New and York people- And you're gonna lose people, all of that for us. You New York people are so uptight. You are so uptight, all you care about is money. All right, let me teach you something. The That's Brad! what it costs money to repair. <laughs> Brad. Brad? Brad. Yeah. That's Listen. my name. Don't wear it out. Hey, you keep this up. We're gonna have no choice but to get you out of here. You know what we're gonna send you? Vermont? We're gonna send you to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot put me with those people. Oh, we're sending you to no! Florida. No! <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the first day of class. Class. I see only one of you desired to show up today. So please. Take your seats, we're gonna learn about shapes. There are no chairs in this class. Make your own chairs! <laughs> Ohio boy. <laughs> Is it okay if I break things or will you bring out the crocodiles? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Look like a 
emaciated. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to see you. <laughs> great, to, great to see you too, babe. It's been so long since I've seen, seen you. <laughs> so are you, are you still like, Cutting up decorations and setting buildings on fire and like <laughs> macing people. The the teeth aren't worth the risk that that oh. that, that that takes. Oh. Oh. I kind of miss the mace. <laughs> <laughs> Could you maybe like do you try to do like one bad boy thing right here like? You know, there are all these like flammable objects in this room. Like it's Florida. It's kind of it's it's, kind of one of the most flammable states like ever. Are they are they watching? I'm not allowed to have lighters. Who's watching? It's it's like it's just you and me in a classroom. They just told me to come in here and talk to you. And... <laughs> no, Fred, stop being so paranoid. They just came in. To, they just told me to come in and talk to you and make sure. You are... <laughs> Make sure you were a good boy. And I'm kind of disappointed with the results, I guess. I just, I thought you'd still have that Ohio spark, but I just see a Florida flatness to you that I kind of don't like. I know, I feel like I'm from Rhode Island. I don't have a personality. <laughs> Brad, I think I need to end it. No, please, I can do it. I can set something on fire, please. <laughs> Can you do it like now? Cause I'm kind of getting bored and I have like three Colorado guys blowing up my phone. <laughs> the Colorado guys. They're always in your DMs. Why are they so flirty? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just me. I think we just kind of have like a regional compatibility. Don't do it. <laughs> Suitors. As you all know, this is the dating show. I like to keep the name generic um, because I am generic. Um, and here we have with me uh, Brad, Chad, and last but not least, Vlad. Um, and I'm looking to find love, truly, truly I am. I, I've, I've turned a new leaf, I'm, I'm looking for love. So if I could get a hand from the audience to, that, that would help me find my love. Hey. A question. Can we introduce ourselves oh, first? You are so right. Please. I'm very forgetful. Brad? Thank you. Hi, my name's Brad. Um, I happen to be from the beautiful state of Virginia. <laughs> and uh, I really enjoy hikes in the woods. <laughs> Give it up for Brad! <laughs> Alrighty. Chad, let's hear about you. Let's hear about you. Uh, what's up? Uh, name's Chad, from New York. Uh, I don't know why I'm here. I just like was swiping right on Tinder on like every person I saw, and one of them just happened to like match back with me and said like, "Hey, here's this thing." I'm just like, "Okay." And then I got a handsome face. Clap it up for Chad. <laughs> and next, we have Vlad. Baby, I'm not like any boy you ever knew before. I'm different. I see what other boys do, and I do it better. That's what I'm doing right now, baby, just for you. My name's Vlad Popolov. Remember that, because that's going to be your damn last name. <laughs> Give it up for Vlad Popolov. Yeah, all righty? Yeah, all righty. Could I get a hand that would help me find my perfect love? Yes, you. Ventriloquist? <laughs> Ventriloquist. <laughs> Um, are any of you ventriloquists? Uh, as my fine viewers of this show, don't raise your hands. Raise your hands this individually. As the viewers of my show know, I'm a big fan of ventriloquists. Um, John Cena is my favorite ventri ventriloquist. Um, he has like ghost riders and stuff like that. It's really cool. Um, <laughs> so Brad, could you please tell me about your ventriloquist-ish or not? Yes, I actually have a extensive 
background in ventriloquism. I actually went to college in the College of Ventriloquism, or <laughs> COV, as they, or COV, as some people like to say. I can actually, I don't have my dummy with me, but sometimes I bring him along, because um, he's the only company I have. Can you do something with your hand? Like a little ventriloquist? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> That is enough, Brad. Thank Hi. you. That's okay. Chad? Yo, what do you know about ventriloquism? Uh, can't say I've really done it too much. Uh, a bunch of my buddies and my boss at work says I'm really good at talking out of my ass, though. <laughs> so. Can you give us a little hand demonstration of what skills you might have? Hmm. It's all in the hands. I do have one thing. <laughs> Apparently, I do a really good impression of someone who's been smoking for like. 40 years. Have you been smoking for 40 years? <laughs> Are you over 40 years old? <laughs> do it like anybody you've ever seen before. I ventriloquize like, <laughs> it's just different, man. I do it with people, without lip syncing, and all natural, no chemicals at all. That's my vibe, that's what I do. If that's too intense for you, or if you can't handle it, then <laughs> I got a line waiting out the door for Vlad Popolov, come on! All right, give it up for Vlad Popsocket, Vlad Popsocket. Pop off, I forgot. It's a once, it's a very unique experience, once in a lifetime. Thanks, Black. <laughs> All right, you. If you guys were in a trolley problem situation where, where this uh, lovely bachelor were on one end and your entire family was on the other, uh, what would you select? Yeah, if the train was coming towards me, would you move the trolley to save your family? Uh, actually, would you move the trolley to save me? And <laughs> Sacrifice your family. Sorry, sorry. Um, Brad, let's start with you. Well, I don't have a family. My family's actually a collection of ventriloquist dummies. Um, and I mean, I guess if I were to run them over with a oncoming trolley car, I could rebuild them. I assume that you're not so modular. <laughs> I mean, I was pretty, like, I was, like, the, the top flexible person in fourth grade, but, like, probably not. Would you be able to bend around an oncoming trolley <laughs> if you were tied to a track? I have not tried it, but I'm going to say no. I'll flip the switch towards my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's great to hear, Brad! Yo, Chad, would you kill your family for me? Uh... <laughs> Well, I matched with you on Tinder, and I can't really match with them, so yeah. <laughs> True love. Anyways, uh, Vlad, Poppy, Playtime. Papalov, Papalov, Papalov. <laughs> so I actually thought a lot about this before coming in. Um, because I think about this all the time. This is like a go-to, like, Vlad's chillin' topic of thought. Listen. Here's my thing with the trolley problem. I don't do it like anybody else. I imagine, how am I stopping that MF in trolley, right? <laughs> that's my goal, that's my thing, and if it kills both of you in the meantime while I'm trying to stop it, that, that comes with it. But my job is to try to stop it and step in and save both of you. I mean, because I would want you to meet my family, all 30 members. <laughs> Flat, I don't know if you've been on the show, but like, I value my life. <laughs> I do too, baby. I value your life tons. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, could I get one more question from the audience? Something a little more love related that could possibly help me find my true love. I see you. Um, how are you going to introduce uh, you to their parents? How would you introduce me to your parents, but also make it a little romantic? I'm gonna toss that in there. Um, Brad! I thought, I thought we were over this. I don't have parents. I have ventriloquist dummies. <laughs> yeah, but like, they're still a part of you. I, I know ventriloquism. How would I introduce you to myself? 
Yeah. Hey, this is, you know, is that good enough? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chad. What happened? Uh, how would you introduce me to your family? You want me to like act it out? Sure. I'll be the dad. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got you, man. I'm Brad, I'm Chad's dad. <sighs> All right, so. I don't improvise. So like, the door's like here. Don't expect me to act. So just be like. Hey, Ma! Hey, Dad! Just Dad, not Bob! Run on the hookup home. <laughs> Great! <laughs> you're, gonna, like, you're gonna, like, clean my sheets after, right? Yeah, son. <laughs> I, do I keep going? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough. I think that's enough. That's Great acting! Pass. Great acting! <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Vlad, how would you introduce me to your 30 family members? Listen, this is the one thing I do normal. I just say, hey, mom, mom, mama, dad, papa, mama, mom, mom too, dad, stepmom, dad, father, dad, dad, stepmom number two, dad, father, papa, mom, uncle, and then all ten of my siblings. This is the girl I like. And then they say, Hi, girl Vlad likes, what's your name? And I say, you don't get to know that yet. <laughs> I like to joke around with my family, you know, I'm just a normal guy. I may be Vlad Popolov, best lover in the Midwest, but I'm still a normal guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think I can finally make my decision thanks to your very helpful questions here. Um, so I'm gonna narrow it down, I'm gonna narrow it down. Um, Chad, I know you said you're 25, but I 24, did. 24, actually. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter because I did check your Tinder profile and I did a background check on you. And it turns out that you are indeed 43. So um, I am unfortunately no longer interested in you. You also smell like nicotine. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Tough break. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Is he okay? I, I'm sure it'll be fine. There's probably security in the back. Um, anyways, anyways, anyways. You are my two lovely suitors that I have left. And I will have to say, Vlad, you are the, the most romantic person, the most eligible bachelor in the Midwest, but this is unfortunately Virginia. This is not the Midwest. Um, so, unfortunately, you are not going to be my date. Fine! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have, lastly, Brad! <laughs> and Brad, now you get to choose whether or not you want to be with me. I need to call my mom one second. <laughs> Hey, Mom. Yeah, what's up, honey? <laughs> okay, you're watching, right? Yes, honey, I am. Um, can, can I, should, should, should. <laughs> yes, I think that would be lovely. Beep. She said yes. And that was the show! <laughs> not the end of this show, not the end of this show. Okay. And next up, uh, we got Prom King Town Hall. Oh, hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. I know, I'm so famous, I know. Um, I will be your host. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'll be your host today. My name is Devin, um, and we have two lovely candidates backstage waiting for them to be called out. Um, and they will be competing for your approval on who shall be your 2024 prom king. So can we get our candidates out, please? <laughs> I mean, no, you do you. <laughs> All right, so please, uh, we'll start on this side. Please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Mr. Highsmith, and um, I don't think I should have been nominated for this position. 
I am a teacher, not a student. I think that this competition should really only be open to students. Um, and I wish that they did it. I wish that it wasn't like mandatory for the nominations to go up in town hall. But I really think Caleb deserves it. I just teach science. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a stud. I'm married. I have kids. Okay. So, um, and you, Caleb, is it right? Please yeah. Awesome. Yeah. My name's Caleb. As our science teacher said, um, I am also a stud. People, um, I, uh, I'm part of the track team. In case you didn't know, um, and I like to run. Um, and I'm the fastest runner in our grade. So uh, you should vote for me as prom king. All right, okay. So we're gonna take a couple questions from the audience and uh, we will take three questions. And after those three questions, we will vote on who you guys want to be prom king of 2024. Can I get some hands as to who wants to ask these lovely candidates some questions? You, down there. What is your dream Michelle Obama school approved lunch? Wow, what a string of words. <laughs> All right, we'll start with Mr. Heisman. Yeah, so I guess, not that I'm running for prom king because I'm a teacher. Well, I mean, you're here now. But if I had to answer, which, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll parlay. Um, I gotta say, chicken Caesar salad, so it's all kind of in one thing. You get the protein, you get the veggies, you get the cheese, you get the ranch. Not the ranch, the Caesar dressing, I'm so silly. But yeah, just I think it's a good one and done meal. I think it's just Michelle's genius, obviously. lunch if it was a, a like half of a pizza with only protein powders toppings. Um, I like my protein powder. I like it like raw on pizza. I have it every day for breakfast. Um, keeps me keeps me going. Keeps me running. Literally running for for your prom king. So vote for me. Just a follow up. Do yeah. You, do you eat the protein powder with anything else for breakfast? No, it's like the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> Dedication. That's true. That's true. I have I have all that. All right. Next question. You over there. Yes, you. What are you guys doing to combat the rise of the dangerous trend of crowd surfing at prom? Mm -hmm. What are we doing to combat crowd surfing at prom? I think we'll start with Caleb this time. Um. Well, many people claim that crowd surfing is really dangerous. It's also like super cool. Um, it's like running, but without using your legs. And I've never wanted to run uh, without using my legs before. Um, I'm fine. I am the fastest person in my grade, so I can keep this up. I'm training. Vote for me. serious issue to me. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, but last year my daughter, Sophia, um, at that Demi Lovato concert, she got an injury from crowd surfing. So ever since, I've just been very vocal about like, guys, when it's prom and when it's a lot of people, you got to be safe. We don't want crowd crush. We don't want stampedes. We don't want the bad stuff that makes our prom not fun. And usually, they listen. <laughs>
curriculum, but I think that the AP test is a standardized test that is run by a less than reputable company, we can all admit. And so I think that we should take AP classes for the challenge, but not necessarily to pass the test. College credit is a great bonus, but you really, people should be doing AP classes in topics that they actually want to learn more about. out to prom uh, a few short minutes ago. Um, some of these people have been kind of sort of assholes during prom, and you see, I'm the prom chaperone. Um, I need to keep you guys in check. I need two improvisers out here. Start a scene based on Eric, you too. Guess it's three improvisers. You're stuck with us. Start a scene based on dancing. Yeah, I haven't done this in so 
76! You know, um, wait, how old are you? <laughs> I'm back in my 20s, bruh! Hell uh, yeah! Did you say you hit like that in 76? Yeah! <laughs> um, <laughs> 76, you know! Okay. Like, Can you try this punch really quickly and let me know if it's as good as it was in 76? Sure, man. Look. I've had some pretty good punch in my day. Well, yeah, that's what I need. I need your expertise, you know. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so glad you're here, 76 man. Uh, we're at my new accent. I'm so glad you're here, 76 man. We're here at my warehouse, and uh, since you know how things were in 76, I want you to make sure that everything's up to you because you know you have the expertise. Joe, you can only respond in two syllables. Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, over here we got a chair. My favorite chair of the warehouse, the only chair of the warehouse, because it's the best chair of the warehouse. Is it as good as the chairs in 76? Don't do that, it might break. <laughs> Be very gentle with her. Her name is Angela. Yeah. Joe, you're not allowed to put that chair down. <laughs> so like, what do you think about the chair, huh? Needs more. About... <laughs> Needs more what? Because I got my tools over here. Pizzazz. <laughs> All right, I got my glitter over here. I got my glitter. Joe, you can put it down now. Uh, oh, sorry, sir. It doesn't glitter match up to your expectations, sir. More. More! All right, all right. <laughs> all right, Sweep, I'm sick of this. I'm sorry. All right, Sweep, um, let me see. Uh, you two, near the end. Why don't you hop out there and do a, uh, why don't you do an IDS for us? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, so, internal it's, domestic syndrome? Um, <laughs> it's not internal domestic syndrome. It's a game where you rhyme and do like, a kind of like a, oh, I, 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 You do a rhyme, and then I do a rhyme. Then you rhyme with him, and then you rhyme with me? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what to feel. I felt wrong. So I drank a bunch of it. And then it, my forehead was low. Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. And slept in the bear's den. Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I I had to say, hey, by the way, how's it going today? I think it's great. And then I said, this, what do I to say? this isn't okay. <laughs> There's a real problem here. This knot is about to fray. Oh, I need, 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 I need. I drove a car and then hit a brick wall. <laughs> it crumbled into pieces. And I heard it fall. <laughs> and then I ate a little bit of Reese's. Oh, I need, 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 I or really anyone for that matter. Could you please write an apology letter? Dearest friends, I want to inform you that we have a confession. We have gay rights. <laughs> That's all I needed to 
here. Thank you for apologizing. Um, let's see. Do we get a scene about ballroom dancing? Two people. Any two people. Come on up. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not great at small talk. <laughs> You two are two-headed. Yeah, uh, I just like moving farther up so people can see us. They look really good. Are you Should. ready to do turns? Sure. Should we go stop them? Go stop them. <laughs> You're really good at dancing. No, 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 no. Well, wait, no, 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 no. What's wrong with you guys? We're having a moment. Yeah. Can't that you see we're in love? Is ridiculous. You are not perfect. <laughs> well, okay, maybe, maybe. What about you guys, huh? Yeah, Show us can you moves. dance? Can you dance? Yeah. Go off, poet. <laughs> we <laughs> can, can dance, dance so, so well. well. It's hard. It's hard. To tell how cool we can dance Cause you're lame, son Oh my god, babe, I can't believe they dissed us like that Wait, we have to dance better, okay? Okay, okay, okay. follow okay. my lead Okay <laughs> They are way too good right now. I am embarrassed. All right, sweep, I don't see Fortnite dancing. No Fortnite dancing in prom. No Fortnite dancing in prom. Uh, if we have one final scene, I want to see it with just Eric giving a monologue at first. <coughs> Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Scratch that. I haven't seen you enough, Moosh. Why don't you give a monologue instead? <laughs> About what? Whatever you want, talk about it. Alright. This week, what a week. It's been it's been like a long week coming. It's been it's been one of those weeks where you just wake up in the morning and wish it was already 8 p.m. It's one of those weeks where 40 hours just doesn't cut it. Right? So overall, it's 40 hours of just being stuck in a lab and just doing nothing but computer work. Just looking at models, working them out, and What's, what do I get at the, end, at the end of it? The blissful 8 p.m. at either Webb or 1829 room at RFM. Uh, come in. It's 801. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what happens every Friday, right after 8, at Webb Auditorium? Come in. It's actually 9.09. <laughs> and you know what happens at 9.09 .09 every Friday in Web Auditorium? On three. One, One two, two, three. We fall. Oh. oh. <laughs> Listen up, kid. Yeah, yeah. You gotta fix up that stance a little bit, you know? <laughs> Stay up straight. New choice on stance. New choice on stance. There we go, all right, yeah? Yeah. Now see your best jab. Go, right now. <laughs> Will you go? <laughs> I feel a little attacked. You don't feel attacked yet? Oh. <laughs> I think you do is say no. I didn't know you were gonna punch me. I've been trained for this. For, uh, for me to ask you to run. No, to hit people. Ah. All right, stop. Can I see that same scene except it's a foreign film dub? Two and two provisors over here dubbing the film. Why are okay. you hitting me? I love you. To fight is what I live for. Leave <laughs> Take this. 
I fuck with you, but you got. But, but I just want you to kiss me, not hit me. She got flaggy, me got full flu, she got flaggy. That's ridiculous. What you need is my punches in your face, not a kiss. <laughs> Maybe I could. Nika Plogger. If you could best me. Balls. <laughs> Balls. Who got bit? You got that. I may not be able to take you to Olive Garden, but I can serve you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> And as the principal of this school, it's my job to answer for whatever happens at prom. Uh, but I don't know what happened at prom. They are gonna, I'm gonna have to figure it out when I, they ask me questions and I'm gonna have to try to guess what actually happened. So when I get close, uh, when I start getting close, start snapping. So if I say something that's like almost there but not quite, then you start snapping. And if I get it, if I say, oh, is it blank? And I'm correct, that's... Uh, in all my years of teaching, I've never seen an audience so good at clapping on command. So, <laughs> that shit's crazy. While you guys figure out what happened in prom, I'm gonna go out and, I guess, take a smoke break. Um, tell me what you need me. Okay, bye! Bye! Bye-bye! All right! Oh, boy. So, on. the door's not closed. Okay, we're good. There we, go. we need to know what exactly went wrong at prom. Can we get an event that went wrong at prom? You in the black dress. Which one? Either one. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Hell no. Let me have my Gatorade. Do it with the Gatorade. Ooh. All right. Uh, one of you proposed, and they said no. Ooh. We need something a little more juicy, I'm thinking. A little mm. more juicy. You there in the front. Uh, someone's boyfriend cheated on them. Maybe. I feel like something a bit more chaotic. You there in the edge. Yes, long hair. <laughs> Drive-by breakup. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think like that. I, I like think that. that's, that's a good, good idea. Right? Yeah, that's right. good. All right, and we need to know who was there. What like, kind what of celebrity? James. <laughs> Which celeb? You there. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Ronald McDonald oh, right. was there? Yeah. And now let us know. What is the principal going to do to make it up to the student body? What do the principal suggest to do to make it up to the student body? <laughs> um, you. Date the shoot. all of everyone's moms. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need something a little more controversial. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not controversial. <laughs> well, I mean, do you not? <laughs> Thursdays. <laughs> all the way in the back, right there. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought there would be more people back then. Um, we also did dads. <laughs> <laughs> we got two for date everyone's parent. I think we have to go with it. Yeah. Date everyone's, everyone's parents. Yeah. Date all of everyone's them. parents. All of them. Doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> Equal opportunity dating. All right. So let's let's run it back over. All right. So what happened to prom? There was a drive-by drive 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 breakup. Break Who was there? Ronald oh, McDonald. And what is the principal suggesting we do to make up for it? Date, Date every, every single parents. student's dad. All right, let's call the principal back on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh! Let me get to my podium. Um, so I take it you all had a great night last night. Uh, woo, little chilly in here. Oh, oh, really makes you question when to use those vacation days. Um, so let's start off with a couple of questions. Oh uh, yeah. <sighs> Principal Sanders, what are you gonna do? Sadie's been in shambles. 
For the past nine hours, we haven't been able to console her at all. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> they were like the most romantic couple in school and I don't understand why Brad would do it that way. Listen, Sadie and Brad have been together for a long, long time and it was bound to blow up at some point somehow in a probably really brutal way, like just like a really difficult breakup. It was gonna happen. We've all been watching Vanderpump Rules. We all know the way this thing goes, right? Yeah? It just seemed so cruel. <laughs> Don't you think, Principal Sanders? Yeah, you know what? I think that like a creative breakup isn't always a bad thing. Like, you know, being, I think, did he go too far? Yeah, I'm, comfort, I'm confident in saying that he, Brad went too far <laughs> with the way he broke up with Katie or Sadie, but we can't control that, yeah? He used her car to do it. He used her car to do it and then he drove away. Do you know how much gas costs and love costs? Love costs a lot, but not as much as you may think. Just, I mean, it was, she, she drove a Kia, right? Did he like crash the car? No, 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 no. Sorry, I was misremembering. I'm totally caught up, you guys. Don't worry about that part. Oh he, so he, at least he didn't crash the car. He just stole it and did a big breakup with it. Yes! Principal Sanders, I'm just, I don't understand how he could have done it so quickly, considering all the cars that were still there for people getting dropped off and driving themselves. Yeah, I, I was, he didn't hit her with the car, right? <laughs> oh my God, What kind of no. person do you think Even Brad is? is? <laughs> Guys, I know that Brad is not a killer. He's just a bad boyfriend. And do I know how he did the getaway car from the prom after the breakup? No, I'm not tuned into that. That's popular people stuff and I'm an admin. Yeah? It was like he, he, he dropped her off and she was there on the pavement and then he said, hey, I'm breaking up with you and he drove right on out. Okay, so he broke up with her. Is that like exactly what happened? No. <laughs> Not entirely. So Brad just kind of like. Did he you like? Know. Don't spoil it for me, Chief. Okay. Um, Look. Just... So he breaks up with her, drives away. Does he throw something? Um, just says something mean. Maybe there's a girl in the trunk who climbs up to the front. No, he didn't do any of that. <laughs> Brad's a big personality, but he's not bad. Yes, you had a question. Well, I was just gonna say that, uh, you know, like you said, Brad isn't that kind of person, but like being his best friend for like 12 years, you know, it's, it's something out of the blue for him, you know? It, it's like, it was so quick. So he... Sadie didn't even have time to process. I mean, when it comes to a breakup, sometimes he wants to, sometimes, I mean, I know I've been in a position where I've wanted to rip off the Band-Aid and just drive away immediately and like, you know, steal the car and break up with her. Yeah, that's, that's normal. But I can see how as the prom king, that could have been difficult. Yeah? Principal Sanders, I think <laughs> so part, of the, part of the problem is just the approach that Brad had. You know, like, they get out of the car, then Brad walks over and grabs the car, and then he just does the deed. You know? <laughs> Not to mention the fact that, like... Did they show up in Brad's car and then he took Sadie's car? <laughs> no, no, no. Different thing. Yeah? It was like, he drives, and then he just says, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he did a drive-by. <laughs> You know what? That's, that sucks. I was really rooting for Brad and Sadie, but let's focus more on maybe the fun stuff that happens, right? Like we have a very special guest at prom, so maybe we talk a little bit about that. That was awesome, right? Like, I thought you said we'd had enough class clowns. Why do we need another clown? <laughs> Pennywise is fucking awesome, <laughs> but we couldn't get him. <laughs> yeah, close the one closer to me first. Principal Sanders, um, so I, I was just gonna ask, like, don't you know that it's kind of
kind of dangerous just to hand out like fries and burgers to kids that you know they could be vegan or have like allergies. What? I guess well, really the to... Ronald McDonald. <laughs> No, guys, seriously. He's more than just a feeder of kids. He's a national hero, Woo! and he catered our prom, and he did all of that himself. At least there was no alcohol in the punch bowl. Right. Yeah, but Small victories. Come on, let's be serious. Let's talk solutions, right? Um, I sent out my email today about what I plan to do, um, but I'll accept a couple questions on that. <laughs> Actually, Prince no, one of... further away from me. You're too mad at me right now. <laughs> Thank you, Principal Sanders. I've been trying to ask for a while now. I noticed. I'm sorry, what was your question? <laughs> what, do, what do you want to say to me? What grievances do you want to air about the way I'm going to go about fixing this issue? Well, don't you think it'd be like a lot of effort? Like a lot. <laughs> like a lot. I feel like that would take like a lot of time just to you know work up to just that level. Yeah. Listen, we are tigers. We do not stop trying. We push through. We push through. Uh, the one further away from me again. Sorry, Benjamin, you can wait. Principal, Principal Sanders, I just, I gotta ask, because isn't it just a breach of trust between you and the students? All of the students in this 2,000 student high school? That's 4,000. That's 4,000. So I mean, you need an ankle bracelet for each leg, right? <laughs> Was one of the thoughts I had going in. But I decided I had to go for something a little bit more feasible than full scale. <laughs> Benjamin, what's your question? Principal Sanders, I thought you better than a home wrecker. <laughs> Your dad did it. Oh! <laughs> Listen, if I... Is it that I'm trying to break up the marriages or that I'm trying to enter them? I'm, listen, I'm entering the throuple with all your parents. And in doing so, not only am I not wrecking homes, I'm building them up. That way, I get to see you guys after you graduate, because I'm going to miss you. Oh. Is polyamorous marriage even allowed in this state? I think it's like under question right now. I don't really know. <laughs> honey, honey, this ain't going in the books. This is all unofficial. <laughs> um, any last questions before I disband this assembly and actually let you guys go to class? Do stepmoms count too? <laughs> of course they do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right, everyone. And with that being said, we'd like to do one final thing. We want to, we as brand, we want to keep things a little bit more serious for this one. So with that being said, can I please get the name of a teen drama that does not exist? Too Young to Live. <laughs> <laughs> um, square hole, uh, circle block. <laughs>
Well, I think that's why they bring their iPhones. <laughs> because then they can FaceTime with all their family from home. You know, I never thought about it like that. What if they forgot their iPhone? Would they just bring an iPad? <laughs> well, I guess one could do that. Both of their parents are astronauts. Do you miss dad? <laughs> he doesn't call us. Yeah, he hasn't called us in, I don't know, two years. You know, every night I look up through the skylight and I look for the International Space Station. And when I see it passing by, I say, hi, dad, and he doesn't say hi back. <laughs> from Stacy at school. I think that maybe if you try when the moon's out, you'll have a better chance of reaching him. You trust Stacy? She cheated on her math test yesterday. <gasps> hey kids, your Uncle Sandy. Hey Sandy. Um, your parents sent me to take care of you. Uh, what? The, wait. Just in the meantime. But in the meantime, because they're coming back, right? Uh, yeah, they're just away on a long trip right now. Um, anyways, uh, I thought it would be a great gift to give you a telescope, so... Oh my god, I can, just, I can wave to my dad with this. Which one are you again? What? <laughs> What's your name, kid? What do you mean, what is my name? Do you not know? I, I get you and your, your sibling confused sometimes, because... You know, it's been like five years since I've seen you. I'm Jeremy, he's Jonathan. Thank you. One would think that it's not so hard to mess up. I mean, they start with the same letter, so they're easy to differentiate. I get the salt and pepper mixed up sometimes. I'm just that kind of uncle. Oh my god, I can see the moon. Yeah. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Don't go too far right. Actually, it's not a good idea to give you that. What? <laughs> but you bought this just for me. Uh, yes. Um, I, listen, kid, I, I, we need to go inside. I have something to tell you about your parents. Okay. Cut to the International Space Station where the parents are. <laughs> Daily log, entry 842. I don't know when help is coming. We've been stranded up here, trying to contact the government to get us back down. And every time, radio silence. Cut back! <laughs> Did you want to tell me, Uncle? Don't ever call me that. <laughs> it's Uncle Sandy. I'm sorry, Uncle Sandy. Don't ever mix the two names together. <laughs> I was bullied as a kid for that. My first name is Uncle. <laughs> Um, your parents, you know they brought their, brought their iPhones with them. Yes, of course. I've been waiting for them to FaceTime me every single day since. And they haven't for three months. And you know that. I know that. Um, they are currently, uh, lost in space. It's, it's gonna be okay. Don't touch me! Okay. Why did you do this? Uh, why did I do this? Wow, Jeremy, you look really vulnerable. I bet I could be a bad influence. I'm Stacy the cheater. <laughs> Wanna go to White Castle and hang up by the dumpster? <laughs> I shouldn't. You can bring your brother. I can? Yeah. This is a bad idea. Dad always told me to not follow Stacy's. <laughs> My middle name is Bad Idea, Jeremy. You that want to follow me. <laughs> Does that mean it cancels out? I don't, I don't do math. I don't know. Oh my, because you cheated on the test. I, which, good job, by the way. Thank you. One of the reasons why I'm extending this offer, not just because your parents aren't in your life, so you're extra easy to influence. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go to my castle. Are you going to bring your brother? Of course. Good, because I have so much salvia and i got to share. <laughs> okay. Great. I... Cut to the dumpsters. So we, we, 
What, what, what are you doing with that pack of cigarettes? Well, I, I keep this pack of cigarettes completely full and in my pocket, just in case. Stay back, stay back. Wait, no, what? you two don't need to worry about my cigarettes. It could light us on fire. This is not a special enough. <laughs> yes! That's so cool! No, 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 Wait, that's so cool! Wait, Jeremy! Jeremy! Come here, come here, come here. Okay, so I know it sounds kind of cool in concept. I know you've been reading a lot of comic books and you want to yeah. be the human torch. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not possible. You're just gonna die. And look. Hello? I'm so Hot girl wants attention. Come on, I have drugs. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, so you're no, telling no, me? No, 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 no. You're telling me? Come here. We gotta talk still. But I want to become the human torch. Yeah, I just said that. That's not possible and you will die. Well, listen, okay? You've always said mean things to me and you've always dumped on my beliefs. And so maybe, maybe I don't want that anymore. Jonathan, you'll die! You so? Know, what do you mean? I'll have powers! Cut to the graveyard. Alright, <laughs> they recovered their mother's body. Where are they? I want to give them drugs. <laughs> I want to influence them now that they're extra vulnerable. But yeah, well, they're up at some dumpsters, they told me. Without me? I don't know, Sandy, Stacy, whatever your name is. My name is my name is Stacy. You're Uncle Sandy. I'm Stacy, the bad influence. I am Uncle Sandy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um so Stacy. Yeah. Uh I know you're in love with the two boys. No, I'm not. <laughs> I just want to use them and lose them. Like every other J name I ever meet. <laughs> Ever meet Joshua? I wasted that man. <laughs> I, yes, I have met Joshua. Yeah, you know everybody. Your Uncle Sam, your Uncle Sandy. I'm Uncle Sandy. Everybody knows Uncle Sandy. <laughs> Every... <laughs> I'm getting a is call. That, is that you or me? <laughs> I don't know, let's both check. <laughs> Hello? Uncle, Uncle, is that you? Not me. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The, the Jake brother's father! Uncle, it's your brother! Oh my god! My it's brother! It's your brother, aunt! <laughs> aunt, let me tell you something. We, I'm, I'm, I'm tracking your location right now, right Uncle, now. Uncle, I'm still in space. I, I had no idea you were alive. We recovered, we recovered. We recovered Nisa's body. You had such a weird relationship. When her part of the ship got sent off. Uh, listen, the, the boys are out at the dumpster right now. Um, I could try to rig together a, 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 a vessel and, and find you. Which dumpster? The one by White Castle. Oh, thank God, finally, Uncle, Jesus. You've got, Uncle, I have to see them. It's been 843 days. I know, I, l let me run you over there. I, I hope I don't lose internet. Uh, Please, quick, I don't know if I'm going to have a single I, I know, I know. Come back to the dumpster. Boys, boys. Wait, where's the other one? <laughs> went to your mom's funeral. <laughs> my mom's funeral? Yeah, they found her body. Weren't you, like, tuned into that? Oh, my God. Uh, I, I was just hoping that you would give me more cigarettes to give me more powers. All right, all right. So, I'm going to open up my brand new pack just okay. for you um, because... I just want you to remember me even when certain things about your life change yeah. and things get like maybe more stable. I want you to remember like how fun this is. Oh yeah, I will never forget you. Littering. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Do you have a lighter? Always. Shh. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Stop. Stop. You can't. Why? Let Jonathan smoke a cig. His mom
mom just died. Yeah, it's stressful. <laughs> you can't be serious. Why didn't Uncle Sandy tell you? Do you want to sing too? Here. You should try no, you it, Jeremy. Do it. Jeremy, you should try it. it. It'll give you powers. <laughs> Listen, your mom is six feet under. You can handle these two inches. <laughs> That's in, Jeremy, you know that's... I'm sorry, Jonathan. You know that's going yeah, in your lungs, Yeah, that's my right? name. <laughs> Look, they're really not hard to mess up because they're both J names. <laughs> Can I know that was yummy? I mean, no, I shouldn't. Here, hold See? This one. Get away from me. See? You like them. Boys! Boys, I have your father on the line, my God! Oh, God, I gotta wait, get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Do you do have cigarettes? Uh, Jonathan! What? Jeremy! Hi, Dad! Hi, Dad! Hi, Dad! Hi! I was Jonathan, hiding. what are you holding? <laughs> you... You... Uh, uh, nothing? Don't you lie to me! No, no... It's nothing! Really, it's nothing! It's Jonathan, I can see the whips of smoke behind you! It's not nothing! Take them it's to nothing. rehab, Auntie! You show him! Uncle show Tottenham. him what you've become! <laughs> Something to confess to you. I have powers. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, no, what? <laughs> see that? See that? See that? How did you do that without taking an inhale of cigarette? <laughs> I'm becoming the human torch, Jeremy! You're becoming a human cigarette! <laughs> Jonathan, you can. You got it from your mother. <laughs> She's... Hold on, what? D Dad, no, no. Jonathan, your mother, she was a smoker while she was pregnant with you. And you this is... me so much of a niece. I didn't know this was How a... the reunion of the dad and the brothers? Dad! Dad! Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, it's okay. Here, here, uh, here, 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 here. Oh God! Here, here, here. Oh, oh. Have a seat. Oh, dad, 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 dad. Uh, dad. No, no, no. Uh, leave him. He's okay. He's okay. Gra gravity, gravity okay. is a little, oh, gravity okay. is a little weird. Yeah. Roughly. Eight hundred and forty-seven days. That amount. Eight hundred and forty-seven days. That amount. I was waiting like four for you guys to get the government. Oh. Well, I didn't know that you were up there. Do you there. want a cigarette to take the edge off? Jonathan. <laughs> what? Uh, it's, the, the power of the, what, uh, what? Uh, it seems like you could use one, quite frankly. I don't think the thing that he needs right now is smoke in his lungs, Jonathan. I'm just saying, if it made me stronger as a six-year-old? <laughs> Jonathan, your powers. Yep. Show me them. No. No. This is wrong. I'll say it, this is wrong, Jonathan. You need to stop. I don't think so. Jeremy. Jeremy. What? What? What's happened over the past two years and change up and gone? <laughs> well, me and Mindy broke up. I, I mean between you two boys, but oh. that sucks. <laughs> well, well, I got these new powers, and Jeremy is still little mortal earth thing. <laughs> mortal yeah. earth thing? I'm yeah. your brother! Hey! Yeah, Jonathan. little mortal earth brother. That's all you'll ever be! Jonathan! <gasps> this isn't what your mother would have wanted you to do with your powers. Don't degrade your brother, jo Jeremy. <laughs> yeah? Well, they're my powers now. So I can do whatever I want with them. It's I can not... blow smoke rings and be cool at parties and stuff. Jonathan. <sighs> Jonathan. If you want to keep going on this path you're trying to take. You shouldn't be staring. You just got down from. Then you're going to have to send me to the grave with your mother. <gasps> I won't live to see you live like this. Dad, you can't say that. Dad. You know what? 
If that's what you want, then I'll kill you myself! No! Come to the funeral! <laughs> you need to undo whatever you did to Jeremy. Listen, I take men, I use them, I lose them, they kill their parents. It's awesome! It's my thing. I'm Stacy. I'm a bad influence. I smoke cigs. Everybody loves my shtick. And this is just proof. Oh my god, Stacy. Jonathan, Jeremy, which one are you again? It's Jeremy. If you love them so much, you should know the difference. I do, but only so I can manipulate them. Let go of me, uncle. If that is your real name. <laughs> It is. I got bullied for it. I told you. That's kind of hurtful. I'm sorry, Uncle. Thank you. Auntie was my best friend and my brother. And niece's wife. Yep. Husband. Oh my god. Anyways, there's something that he never told you or your brother. Yeah? It's that you were both born with powers. <gasps> And I think you might be the only one able to stop your brother. I don't know what those powers are. They never told me all about it. But I, I know you have them in you somewhere. You just have to manifest it somehow. Do this mean I have to succumb to bad influence? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank God. Yes. What? Uh -huh. Stop it, Stacy! You're not a helping person. Jesus. Why do you even invite me to these funerals if you're just gonna yell at me? You, I, I never invite you, you somehow find out that it's happening and you come here. Yeah, because you post about it on Facebook! <laughs> That's an invite, Uncle Sandy! Anyways. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just gonna smoke more cigs outside of White Castle and hopefully somebody's gonna realize what an asset I am to this whole situation. We were having a moment. I'm incredibly helpful. Look! <laughs> you need to leave. You need to leave right now. Oh, fine. You know where to find me. Can you do that over there? <laughs> so how do I get these powers? Do I need to like drink beer or something? <laughs> you're, no, you're underage. I'm not gonna give you alcohol. I'm not that kind of uncle. But my brother's six and he's smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, and did I give him permission to do that? No. As your new... Oh my god, I'm your parent. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not ready to have kids. <laughs> it's okay, Uncle Dad. I'm here for you. <laughs> Please, Daddy Uncle Sandy. All right, Daddy Uncle Sandy. Don't ever call me Dad. Ugh. <laughs> People would bully me for that. What? Uh, anyways, they would or they did? They would. Okay, I was gonna question the fact that people were calling you daddy. <laughs> Cut to the final showdown between Jeremy and Jonathan. You've smoked your last sink, brother! <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Where did you get that? I thought you had... <laughs> Look, I'm not the only one. I have powers, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What powers are those? Watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna make you a mistake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Back up. Your powers are Fortnite dancing? Yeah, why? <laughs> What's wrong with that, Oh, my brother? God, that's so cringe. What the hell? Why are you always gotta be like that, Jeremy? You always gotta be cringe. Why can't you be cool? Wanna know why? Cause I'm better than you. <gasps> what did you say? Orange justice attack. Well, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Do 
you want to talk this out? Huh? Like, actual not adults here? How do I know I can trust you? I don't want to emote to you to, oh my god. These are all of my cigarettes. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, there's so many of them. Jeremy. Jonathan. Okay, that's all of my cigarettes. Jonathan. Dad. Please, it's my dying wish. Smoke the cigs. <laughs> Dad, are you sure? I don't want to die. Both of you. Come join your mother and I. Did you hear that? You heard that too, right? Yeah. Who was Dad? Come here. I think I know what we have to do. Ready? Cut the funeral! <laughs> Location variable, but join the Discord, they'll let you know. Um, we also have a campus groups, an Instagram. Yeah. There is a Tumblr, but it is unofficial. <laughs> and yeah, so this is the place to be. This is my last show. We didn't say that before, but this is my last. <laughs> my last favorite show. And having been here, like before all these people even got here, like I just want to say like thank you RAT Improv. Um, I want to thank Milo, Eric, Nikki, and Joe for being the best and also, you know, eboard for, you know, setting it up and, you know, my parents <laughs> for watching. Eboard, I already thanked them, they're fine, <laughs> they don't need another one. But yeah, it's just, it's been an amazing couple of years with Riddy, and I'm glad I've been able to do stuff with and them. And something for you. Aww. 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 Pretend there's wrapping paper in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a cone that says, warning, Capricorn nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Pregnancy test, slay. Tampon lipstick, are you winning, Dad? Amogus. Love. Yeah! A mushroom. Love. Pregnancy test. Love. Weave test. I'll always pass. Woo! Pet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ten color pet. Very helpful. Well, thank you guys. Hey. <gasps> oh! Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Emma, let's roll into Sammy Formal. <laughs> Tony might be wondering where I am. But I'm only thinking of you. Oh, oh my goodness.